Welcome to the LSC SciFair Library tutorial on the International Music Score Library Project, or IMSLP. This video covers the free version of the IMSLP database and demonstrates how to navigate its contents efficiently. But first, a quick note about music in the public domain. According to Copyright Made Simple, public domain means a work is no longer protected by copyright and can be freely distributed. In the United States, works published before 1926 are in the public domain. For an introduction to copyright in the public domain, see the website Copyright Made Simple, or you can view our library guide on copyright basics at cyflib.info backslash copyright. Now, let's take a look at the International Music Library Project database. To access the database, enter imslp.org into your browser bar. Note that this free resource has ads that appear throughout. The login option at the top of the page is for those who have paid subscriptions or memberships. We will skip over the features that require a membership. You will find the One Search or Search Everything box both at the top of the page and in the middle of the page. You can search by keyword, composer, music key, or title. On the navigation bar, the Scores and Recordings tabs allow you to refine your search by composer, time period, recording date, and more. Click on the topic areas on the right-hand side of the page to view the newest additions to IMSLP and more. Let's try a keyword search in the One Search box. We'll search Mozart, Mass, C minor. Using the main search box redirects to an index of results hosted by Google. Click on the most accurate result to be redirected to the source in the IMSLP database. Click on the contents menu at the top of the page for an overview of your results. Notice that the page is divided into categories like performances and subcategories like recordings. Keep scrolling down the page to find the sheet music category and then click on the tabs that interest you. Scroll to the bottom of your results page to view the general information or table of contents of the music score. There are two options for viewing a musical score. You can click on the view icon to scroll through the composition, or you can download and print the composition by clicking on the arrow to the left of the words complete score. Note that you can choose to download the score prior to viewing from the results page. Once you click the download arrow, you will be redirected to a page soliciting funds, much like a Wikipedia page. You do not, however, have to donate or sign up for a membership to download and print the score. Simply watch the 15 second countdown and click for your download when the countdown finishes. Click on the icons on the left side of the score to change the view of the table of contents and use the arrows at the top to scroll or jump to a page and use the minus or plus sign to adjust visibility. You will find the print and full page options at the top right of the download screen. Now let's try searching using the Composer Index. Go back to the home page and click on Composers under the Scores drop-down menu. You can browse all composers alphabetically by the first few letters in the last name, you can browse Composers Index by time period, or you can view Composers Index under the Subcategories section. If you know the first or last name of the composer you are looking for, the search category box is the most efficient search option on the page. Let's look for the female composer by the last name of Strozzi. This search yields two results. I'm going to click on Strozzi Barbara since we are looking for the female composer. Basic biographical information is listed and linked to at the top of the page. You can click on the linked score under Collections or use the search category box to the right to find a particular song or piece within the collected scores. Like our Mozart results, the page is divided by categories. Scroll to view the sheet music category. Once you find your preferred score or arrangement, you can view and or download and print the composition following the same steps as with the Mozart score in our first search. You may have noticed that we skipped over features such as page and toolbox at the top of our results page. These options are only available to subscribers. I hope you found this database demo helpful. If you still have questions after viewing this tutorial, or if you would like research assistance, please do not hesitate to contact the library. Your LSC Cypher librarians are online and available via chat, email, or text Monday through Saturday. You can reach any of our librarians at cypherlibrary at lonestar.edu. As always, we are here to help. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on the International Music Score Library Project, or IMSLP.